But they lifted up their voice unto him. Singing, you are awesome, Lord. You are beautiful. You are glorious. We praise your name. And the Bible says there was a shaking. <laughs> From today, as you begin to pray, God, God will shake every negative thing in your life out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are going to praise God so much that God will shake death out of your life. He will shake sickness out of your life. He will shake anything that doesn't glorify him out of your life by your praise. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus says something in the book of John 8, 29. He said, and he that sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please Him. John 8, 29. For I do always those things that please Him. I do always those things that please Him. And what are those things that please Him? Psalm 69 and verse number 30. The Bible says, I will praise the name of God with song. I will praise the name of God with song. And will magnify him with thanksgiving. 31. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that has horns and hoofs. Jesus said, my father is always with me. He has not left me for I do always that which please him. And what is it that please him? He said, for I will praise the name of God with a song and magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord. So what was he doing that was pleasing to God? He was always giving him thanks. And because of that, the Father was with him all the time. It's not you wake up, oh Jesus, I thank you. Oh, the pastor said we should praise you. Okay, I praise you. I thank you. I thank you for today. That's not what we are talking about. We are talking of a Praise springing out of your heart had spirit filled praise unto God, born out of revelation and love for Him. No matter the circumstances that you see around you, no matter what you see around you, that is why Habakkuk said in Habakkuk 3 17, Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 17, Habakkuk said something. Let's read it on the screen. He said, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vine. The labor of the olive shall fail. The field shall not yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold. And there shall be no head in the stores. 18. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. That is praise. And then 19. What happens after he does that? The Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like his feet. And he will make me to walk upon my high places to the chief singer on my string instrument. Nothing is happening physically. Everything seems to come to a halt. Yet I will praise him. And when I praise him, what will the Lord do? He will make me walk on my high places. <laughs> so the physical circumstances cannot affect me. It's not what determines what he does in my life. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. That doesn't determine what if you would give him praise in spite of all that is happening. I once told a lady whose husband has divorced him uh, her, and has married her friend. You know, some people can do wonderful things. He divorced the wife and married the wife's best friend. I told the lady, I said, that woman was never a friend. Because a friend will never do that. And you have to have, I, I, I mean, another spirit in you to be able to marry your friend's husband. And I told the lady, you want your man back? Begin to give God quality praise and see how you are avenge on your friend on your behalf. You know, people don't know how to bring God on in their situation to, to stand for them. 
Stop going around painting that your friend black. I mean, he has already made herself black. Everybody knows she's black. Everybody knows her character is black. So stop wasting your energy and mouth going around saying it. Begin to give God quality praise. And you will see what will happen. Don't you know our God is a consuming fire? Don't you know he make it alive and he kill it? Give God the quality praise. He will make your enemy see the other side of him. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. You don't waste your time complaining. Give him praise. Give him praise. And he will make you walk on your high places. And let's see the one that stands in front of you. Are you understanding me? Yeah. Because you give him praise, he comes on the scene. And when God comes on the scene, you know, the presence of God can level any mountain in your life. It can dry up every sea. It can drive back every Jordan. So you will have an express road into your destiny. His presence. His presence. His presence, which is accessible by quality, spirit-filled praise. So from today, I forbid anybody to be nagging and complaining and murmuring. No matter what you think you are going through, give him quality praise. Give him quality praise. Give him quality praise. Praise God. And when he is pleased, he releases all manner of signs and wonders to follow us. Praise is one of the vital keys for the release of the supernatural. Shall we stand up to our feet?